Okay, technology advocates, I thought I'd make a little video because uh, you can then watch it back through and pause it and do some of the things that we went through quite quickly today. Let me just pull up the list of things as a visual reminder to myself. Uh, I didn't really talk about it today, but one of the things that I do follow is the Microsoft website, which is a YouTube channel. Um, you don't have to uh, subscribe to it, but there's, they tend to put some quite good things uh, on this. Um, you can just let me actually watch it and then I'll pass on the things which I think are relevant to you. But there's some good stuff in there um, now and then, I think. All right, uh, back to our list. Okay, yeah, just um, when it comes to inking, I think sometimes actually the edge, what's going on here, picture in picture, no idea what's going on but let me just click on this and then type in edge for the edge browser so built into the edge browser are some inking side of things so if we go to the pattern home page for example easy.th if i can spell it's the end of the day okay uh no thanks uh, so if I want to ink, I click on the button and I get my inking tools pretty much straight away. And there we go. It sort of takes a like a picture of the page itself so that you can then, I get my pen and start inking and circling things, etc. and highlighting things. Um, and then when you click out of this, it sort of gives you the option to save, so no, and then it sort of reloads the page again, uh, which is slightly different, I think, to the... Where is this one to, let's go to a page, my MIT page. This one here, which is called page marker. And with page marker, you can then, for picking up the pen, circle things. It's a little bit more blocky, uh, but it, it seems to work and clear. And the, the page sort of works again underneath, which is quite nice. Um, anyway, I digress. Going back to my list here. So the, this jewelless one, uh, I'll put links to all of these things in the uh, workplace. So I think we'll use workplace this year as our uh, platform to communicate. Just quite simple to post things and post replies and things like this, add videos, etc. I think I sent the link to people, but there is a link here as well if you want to share it with colleagues. Um, lost my train of thought. Okay, here was this jewelless. So. If I click on this, it gives me some options in terms of the arrangement of the screen. So let's go for arrangement like this, and it will open up one of these pages here. So let's say if this was one of my um, lesson plans, then what I can do is, let's just quickly go to one uh, on my bookmarks, or click on this one, it's the same thing. Um, can't. Okay, or Firefly. Okay, so let's go to uh, week four, for example, laptops for learning week four. You can see here I've got my learning intentions and success criteria. What I could do if I copied that into here and open that page, then I would see I didn't have yeah maybe let's move these a little bit across then I've got my learning intentions and success criteria and my page would be here that I would be showing the students let's move this across here so I've always got those in that arrangement so I haven't really used it with the students but I'm just thinking that maybe something like that would be quite a useful piece of um, uh, extension to, for you to be able to do that straight away okay uh, what else was on the list uh, yeah no hands so the not if you're a no hands user then one of the things that uh, Matt passed on to me and I will uh, zip this up and send it to you was this little timer so uh, snap timer it's called and you can run the snap timer and it will pop a little window over the top. I used it today just in my year seven lesson. Actually, timing how long it took them to actually be quiet at the start. 
and there's lots of um, different things that you can do with it and there's like a, a little readme text here which has got some of the things that you can change okay that i thought was nice i share that with you now let's get on to the big thing the big thing that i wanted to look at really today was cami so here's the link to the cami website <clears throat> and in the cami website you can uh, explore a few things watch a little few a few little videos of things that it will do um uh, there's only seven million educators using it uh and obviously i found out about it a couple of weeks ago um so here transfer learning so here is the install extension for the chrome extension there's also uh, obviously a, a web app as well which is interesting i've not clicked on that one before uh i'm wondering if that is an app which comes in here in these apps when you install it I'll play around with that a little bit later on. In fact, I'm just going to see whether or not it's already installed. It's not installed. Um, I'm just using the Chrome extension. So with this one, this install the extension, and it will take you to the extension, and you can click on install. Obviously, I've already got it in there in place. Uh, yeah, only 3.7 million users. So when we go to a Firefly page, so here is a Firefly page or any PDF document, to be honest. Here I've got a PDF document. When I click on that, it will open up the PDF document. And then because I've got it installed as an extension, it will give me the open in Kami option. I've already opened this one before. I think I showed it in the meeting at lunchtime. So there should be some edits on it already. Uh, you can, I think your, your account at the moment will be just like the free version and there'll be a button up here which you can click on and then apply for the full pro version so if i pick up my pen uh, let's go to a part of the page that is blank and then if i want to mark up i can do different things but if i want to draw um, then i can write here hello 